Hey guys, we are going to convert this 0 0.36 repeating to a fraction, okay? If you need some other examples, like I do one where it's 0.3 repeating, um, so it's just the same number, it's a little different, pretty much the same though, um, or one where there's a number here instead of a zero, um, I will link some videos to that, okay? But let's do this, okay? So this line above here means that 3.6 literally goes on forever. 0.36, 36, 36. It keeps going. Okay. So our typical way of converting a um, decimal to a fraction doesn't, doesn't work. Right. <laughs> so, um, but there's another strategy that is not too tricky that works very well. Okay. So the first thing we do in this strategy is we set X equal to our 0.36 here. Okay. So X equals 0 0.36 repeating. Let me write that again down here x equals 0 0.36 repeating okay now the next thing i'm gonna do and hang with me if you're like why is she doing that the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to multiply both sides by 100 okay and this is where if you have watched um some of the other videos it might differ a little bit the reason i'm multiplying by 100 is because there are two numbers repeating, okay? When there's only one number repeating, you just multiply by 10. If you're like, what the heck is she talking about? Just do the problem. I, I hear you. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> just wanted to point that out if you're like, why is she timesing by 100 sometimes? Okay, we're timesing by 100 because there's two um, numbers after the decimal, okay? That repeat. All right, so once I do that, watch what happens. We get 100x equals... When I multiply by 100, it just moves that decimal over two places, okay? So then I have 36.36 repeating, okay? Now, if you're like, why could she do that? As long as we multiply by the same thing on both sides, it's still true, okay? It's still equal. Um, and it's just a strategy to help us convert this, okay? Now we are going to next subtract X from both sides. Okay. Again, as long as I do it from both sides, we're good. So I'm subtracting X from this side and from this side. But remember from the very beginning, what did we say X is? X is equal to 0.36 repeating. So I'm going to write it as X on this side. I'm going to write it as uh, 0 0.36 repeating on this side because those are the same. Okay. So they, I'm subtracting the same thing from both sides. They just look a little different, but they are equal to each other. Okay. So 100 X minus X gives me 99 X equals. Okay. This takes away my repeating, right? Oh my gosh. You're like, Oh, it's actually working. I didn't know if I believed this lady. Okay, so now we have 99x equals 36. And that looks much more doable, right? Like you've probably solved things like this tons of times. So we're just trying to get our x alone. So we divide by 99 on both sides. Okay, so I get x equals 36 over 99. Beautiful. This can be um, simplified. And... Uh, typically, I would say most teachers want it simplified. That's probably a pretty fair statement. And so um, both numbers, I notice, are divisible by 9. So I'm going to divide by 9 on top and bottom. If you need a refresher on uh, simplifying fractions, I'll link a video. Um, but when I divide these, um, I end up with 4 elevenths. Okay? And that's as simplified as it goes. What the heck? Who would think 0.36 repeating was just four elevenths. What? Okay. Beautiful thing about math. Are you ready for this? There's typically a way to check yourself, check your answer. So what you can do is plug this into your calculator, four divided by 11, and make sure you get 0.36 repeating. Now, sometimes your calculator might round it or something because your calculator can't keep it going forever, but I think you'll get the idea when you plug it in like, oh, hey, it worked. Okay. Hopefully that made sense and you can get your homework done. Bye.